Let's make 2023 your best year yet. With setting New Year's goals, intentions, journaling, and creating a vision board. Hello, my loves, and welcome back. I am Jacqueline. I am your manifestation queen. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to set clear intentions for the new year and making an aesthetically pleasing and inspiring vision board and how to use all of that to manifest your best life in the new year. Please check out my free Facebook group linked in the description below. Without further ado, let's dive in. Making positive changes to your life, having a new fresh start, creating new habits is something you can do any day throughout the year. But a new calendar year is a great time to set new intentions for that following year, to set new goals for yourself, to create space for new routines and habits that you want to implement in the new year, to help keep yourself in line and on track, to help manifest the life that you desire and aspire to have. So one of the very first things I like to do when I'm going to set new intentions for the following year is to start with journaling. Journaling out your thoughts, your feelings, your goals is a great way to see what is not working in your life, what changes you might want to make in your life, what goals you aspire to achieve in the new year. It's a really great way to go in, dive deep, get your feelings out, see what your innermost desires are, bring them to the forefront of your mind so that you can set clear intentions to help manifest this into the next year. It always makes me feel better to just go through this process of getting my thoughts and feelings and my emotions out and on paper. I promise it'll make you feel better. And I've written down the questions that I ask myself so you can help prompt yourself with your journaling to get these feelings and these emotions out for yourself. So let me share those with you now. When journaling, I have a two-step process. The first step is these questions that I'm going to share with you now. So I ask myself, what do I want to leave in 2022? What do I want to leave behind? What isn't serving me? What lowers my energy and drains my cup out? What doesn't make me feel good that I would like to change? So what doesn't make you feel good? What do you want to change in your life? What drains your energy? These are all great things to jot down, take mental note of. What areas of your life do you feel stuck in? that you would like to change from those areas, you want to grow, where do you feel stuck that you would like the growth? What do you want your life to look like in 2023? This is a great question. Sit down and really think about it. What do you really want your life to look like? If you had the life that you desired, how exactly would it look? What does your dream life look like? What goals do you want to foster in the new year? What are your desires? So really think about these areas of your life and these questions and journal them out freely. I will also leave these questions in the description below for your reference. In part two of the journaling process, I set my clear intentions and goals for the following year. They are precise, they are defined, and then they are in alignment with the life that I want to manifest in the following year. I break it down into five different sections. The first section is going to be health and wellness. Then I have business and wealth. I have relationships and love. And this could be relationships with your significant other. It could be family members, your children, your siblings, whatever relationships in your life that you want to foster, grow, friendships goes under this category. Then under the next category is mental health and how I want to manifest or create better mental health or practices in my life. And then the very last one, of course, is uh, manifesting everything I want to manifest in my life. So what I do is write a heading for each category. And then underneath, I make bullet points and write out exactly, clearly, and defined my goals for the following year. This allows me to clearly state the goals I want to bring into the next year, the routines I want to create, the mindset I want to foster, and the dreams I aspire to manifest. Next is the fun step of creating a vision board. So this can be done in many different ways. You can do this on your phone, on your computer, on your iPad. You can even save photos and print them out to cut and either tape in a journal, tape on a wall. Basically, wherever you see the most, which is normally our physical devices, our phones, our computers and laptops, you want to create these images, this collage of pictures that we're gonna collect, and you're gonna have it somewhere you see the most. So the way I do it is I go onto Pinterest. Most of us have a Pinterest board. If not, you can use a Google search, 
and find images that resonate with the life that you want to create in the following year. So you're gonna find these images, save them to your computer or your phone. I like to create a folder and be like goals for 2023 and collect my images from Pinterest and Google search and just have them in this folder. So when I go onto Canva to create my vision board, I have them all easily in this folder, but basically you're going to search for photos that line up with all the categories of your life that you journaled out and you want to foster in the new year. So look for photos that represent the mental health that you want or the healthy eating you want, the fitness level you want, your mindset, places you wanna travel, maybe love that you wanna bring into your life. Also download quotes and things that inspire you to add into your vision board. And one extra tip is I like to use photos from the last year or in my past, the things that I feel proud of, that I wanna add into my vision board to continue to grow and foster in the new year. Don't feel like you can't use photos of yourself from the past. It's a great way to make your vision board even more powerful. Once you've collected all the images you wanna use, you can create your vision board in Canva, in Keynotes, in PowerPoint, then you can export it and save it as a JPEG. So you can save the image to your computer or your phone as your lock screen, your home saver, your background, somewhere that you will see every single day, hopefully multiple times a day. So for me this year, I want to cultivate a deeper understanding of myself. I want to foster closer connections to my husband and children as always, because they are the most important things to me. I also want to grow and focus on my business. I want to learn more about the power of the mind and the mind-body connection. Of course, I'm always manifesting. It's always a big focus of mine. I also want to be continuing to dedicate myself to my Pilates practice, to healthy and home-cooked meals. And for me, having my vision board on my screen of my computer will be a constant reminder multiple times a day of the goals I want to foster in the new year and to help me stay motivated with them. Step three is to create space to clear out the old and declutter our lives, both mentally and physically. We have gone through the process of journaling out what no longer serves us. We've created the vision board to what we want to create in the new year. It is now time to declutter our lives mentally and physically. So mentally let go of limiting beliefs old thought patterns, old habits, negativity, anything that is not serving you and you no longer wish to carry with you into the new year. Physically clear out your life, whether that is your home, your car, your phone, your garage, whatever area or aspect of your life you feel like you want to change, declutter it. This could be cleaning out your closet, old clothes to make room for new clothes, anything that you don't love, that you don't use, get rid of it, you can sell it, you can donate it, whatever you like with your phone, get rid of old photos you don't want, old apps you don't use, maybe toxic people or people who don't make you feel good about yourself, you want to unfollow, just anything that you want to declutter in your life to create space for the new and improved you, take the time to think about it and act on it so you can really benefit from this process of opening up your life or what you want to come in. Clearing out space is so helpful in so many ways, from our mental health, to how productive we are in our daily lives, to our overall feeling of happiness. You may also want to take the time to add things to your life that you feel like will support you and inspire you, like downloading new music to your phone that is motivational, to download apps maybe to help you stay on track, like a calendar app, maybe a meditation app, or an affirmation app. Of course, you would love to subscribe to me so I can help you stay on track and manifest your best life. So number four are affirmations. I can't call myself the manifestation queen without the affirmations coming through. Of course, we like to use these affirmations and these pictures in our vision board to have quotes that inspire us, to keep us on track. But more importantly, I want you to take the time to journal out your specific affirmations to support your goals, your growth, and your manifestation in the following year. And then you can take this and read it at least once a week. I like to read it every night so I can stay on track and aligned with my manifestations and my goals. So if you need help writing out and journaling your affirmations for your manifestations or your goals, 
comment below, reach out to me, and I will help you come up with your personalized affirmations. But here are some that I use. I am always attracting amazing opportunities. I am a money magnet. I am wealthy. I am a master at manifesting. I always have deep, meaningful relationships in my life. I am wealthy, healthy, and happy. I make X amount of dollars every month. My life is full of happiness and joy. The universe always has my back and I'm grateful for the life that I have. That wraps up the video on how to make 2023 your best year yet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like below if you did. Comment, let me know if you have any questions or if you need any help or if you just want to reach out, I am here. Please subscribe as always for more manifesting videos from me. Ring the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Don't forget to check out my free Facebook group in the description below and happy new year's.